let's talk about one of the most famous sitcoms ever Seinfeld. It's known as a show about nothing, but there's more to it than meets the eye. It's filled with funny moments, surprises, and some sad parts too. Do you have a favorite scene or memory from the show? Or maybe you're interested in some little known stories about it? Share your memories and experiences with us below. We're excited to hear from you. In 1989, a groundbreaking TV show hit the screens, changing how people saw comedy forever. Seinfeld, created by Larry David and Jerry Seinfeld, was not just a show, it was a big deal. Set in New York City, it followed the everyday lives of Jerry, George, Elaine, and Kramer, four quirky friends navigating life in the city. What made it stand out was its ability to find humor in normal stuff, turning regular situations into funny moments. What made Seinfeld different from other shows of its time was its refusal to follow typical show patterns. Instead of having a straightforward storyline, each episode was a mix of different events that somehow ended up being really funny. This show about nothing, as Jerry himself called it, resonated with people because it reflected the randomness of real life. Throughout its nine seasons, Seinfeld got lots of praise and built a big fan base, cementing its place in TV history. Its influence can still be seen today, with many modern comedies saying Seinfeld was a big inspiration. But maybe the best thing about Seinfeld is how it makes us laugh at ourselves, showing that sometimes the funniest stuff happens in everyday life. In Season 8, Episode 4, titled The Little Kicks, Elaine's distinctive dancing style became a memorable moment. The inspiration behind her quirky moves came from Saturday Night Live boss Lauren Michaels. Spike Ferriston, a Seinfeld writer, kick-started his career as a receptionist at Saturday Night Live. Ferriston witnessed Michaels dancing at a Saturday Night Live after party, describing it as if Michaels had never seen another human being dance before. Michaels heaved and gyrated to a rhythm only he could feel, leaving an impression that found its way into Elaine's dance moves. During the early seasons, Jerry's apartment featured black and white framed or matted photos on the walls, one of which was captured by N.G. Morath. The photograph, titled Carriage Ride, Central Park, New York City, 1963, holds a prominent place between the bathroom and living room. N.G. Morath, married to Arthur Miller at the time of the photo, is referenced in the series. George occasionally gets called Biff, a nod to Miller's play Death of a Salesman. In an amusing turn of events, Jerry's father, in a different episode, mentions having Super Saver plane tickets that are non-refundable. In Season 4, Episode 12, Kramer unknowingly buys non-refundable Super Savers, causing displeasure for George. Jerry's father also attempts to secure an airfare discount by convincing a doctor to write a note claiming a death in the family. This scenario mirrors George's similar attempt in Season 4, Episode 19, following his girlfriend's fictional family tragedy. These Seinfeld moments, inspired by real-life experiences and cleverly woven into the show, contribute to the sitcom's humor and relatability. Each episode brings forth a blend of everyday situations, humorously exaggerated and grounded in the mundanity of life. In a documentary about the show, Jason Alexander mentioned he didn't realize George Costanza was based on Larry David until he commented on a script, only for David to reveal it mirrored his own experiences. Media sources noted the coincidence of the deaths of two actors from the series, one playing Estelle Harris, George Costanza's mother, and the other, an actor's wife. NBC had interconnected storylines for its Thursday night sitcoms set in New York City, except Seinfeld, which declined to participate. Seinfeld, a TV series that aired for nine seasons, had its finale, titled The Finale, lasting 55 minutes, making it the longest episode in the show's history. The phrase yada, yada, yada from the show ranked number one in TV Guide's list of TV's 20 top catchphrases. In most episodes, the main character Jerry lived in apartment 5A, as seen on his door in black letters and numbers. However, in season one, episode three, his apartment number was 411, displayed in gold-colored metal numbers next to the door. Seinfeld, a sitcom that aired in 1989, had some interesting behind-the-scenes facts. Originally, the character Elaine Bennis was planned to be an eye doctor. Julia Louis-Dreyfus, who played Elaine, was pregnant during filming. To conceal her pregnancy, she carried props to hide her changing body, a technique later parodied on the nanny. Additionally, the character of Elaine's father, Alton Bennis, was intended to be a recurring role. However, actor Lawrence Tierney, who played the role, frightened and intimidated the cast, leading to the decision to not bring the character back. 
Interestingly, Tierney later portrayed a tough guy in Quentin Tarantino's Reservoir Dogs. These tidbits offer insight into the making of the show and the challenges faced by the cast. Jerry Seinfeld, the main character in the show, consistently used Apple computers. However, his desk was also home to various IBM PC Microsoft Office products, showcasing a blend of technology preferences during the show's run. An interesting quirk about Kramer, one of the show's main characters, is his unique way of agreeing. Instead of the usual yes, he often used slang variations to affirmatively respond. There are only six instances throughout the series where he actually says yes, highlighting a distinct characteristic of his dialogue. The series concluded on May 14, 1998, and TV Land Network paid tribute in a unique way. Instead of airing regular programming during the show's time slot, they chose to display a still photo of a closed office door marking the end of an era in television history. This approach by TV Land was an unconventional yet memorable way to honor the series, emphasizing its significance in television culture. The details about Jerry's technology preferences and Kramer's dialogue, along with a tribute from TV Land, offer a glimpse into the show's impact and the nuances that contributed to its success. Elaine Bennies, a character in the sitcom Seinfeld, was named after Larry David's friend Terry Bennies. The main characters, Jerry and George, mentioned having siblings in seasons two and three, but these siblings were neither shown nor mentioned again in subsequent episodes. A notable decision in the show's history was when the star turned down an offer from NBC that would have earned him $110 million for a tenth season. This decision marked the end of the show, which has become a staple in American television. These facts provide insight into the creative choices and financial decisions that shaped the show's trajectory. The naming of characters based on personal connections and the introduction of siblings that were later disregarded highlight the evolving nature of the series. Additionally, the star's refusal of a substantial offer from NBC underlines the significance of creative control and the determination to conclude the show on his terms. In summary, the naming choices and the brief mention of siblings, along with the pivotal decision to decline a lucrative offer, contribute to the unique history of the show. Tony Schalhaub tried out for the role of Cosmo Kramer initially. Michael Richards, who later played Kramer, was once considered for the lead role in Monk, but declined, leading Schalhaub to take it. Both actors won three Emmys for their respective roles. Jason Alexander auditioned via videotape for George Costanza's role, doing a Woody Allen impression, unaware that George was based on Larry David, who appeared in two of Allen's films. Jerry, being a big Superman fan, often includes Superman references in most episodes like having a sticker or statue in his apartment. 